everyone, and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode, I'm going to show you a way to rescue your vMix UTC setup in case you accidentally uh, write over one that you didn't intend to. And this is something that I did accidentally, and I'm going to show you how I was able uh, to rescue or recover uh, that file that I had uh, written over. Uh, but before I show you how to do that, I want to show you a remedy that I've come up with so that I don't do this, uh, uh, you know, so I don't do this again in the future. And it's very simple, but this is what I do now. On every vMix UTC setup that I do, I have a label bar that I put somewhere on it with the name of that specific uh, setup. And this one right here says high school football. So when I go to save it, when I hit save, I'm going to look for one that's entitled high school football. And before I hit save, I'm going to make sure, and I'm going to double check it again, that this says high school football. And then the one that I'm saving it to also says the exact same thing. In this case, it does. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And I know that I've saved, saved this to the correct file. What had happened is I had saved um, I had saved a football file or a basketball file on top of a football file, and it happened to be this football file right here. And this is a couple seasons worth of work. Uh, you can actually see here uh, there's a couple pages to it, and on the second page, another operator uh, actually runs the replay. Uh, so this was uh, this was a big deal when I. Uh, uh, accidentally overwrote it uh, and it threw me for a loop and I was sweating bullets because I thought I'd lost that uh, information forever. But I was able to uh, come up with a way of remedying it and I'm going to show you that now. So what I did is I went over to uh, all of my files and I keep all my files on my OneDrive and I've talked about that before. The reason I do it on my OneDrive is if for some reason that file ha happens to become uh, corrupted on my computer. Uh, when I'm at a venue or I'm getting ready to do a production, I can always go to my backup uh, on my OneDrive and download that again so I have it accessible to me uh, wherever I'm at. And I'm going to open up this one here that says One Man Stream Rescue Tutorial because that's actually the one that I made uh, for today's tutorial. It's very simple and I'm going to go ahead and show you about this uh, label tab. Um, in one of the previous uh, episodes, it was probably in episode one or episode two, I showed you how to use the label widget. I'll do that real quick. You click on uh, widget, then you click on label. And then I'm just going to put example in here. And I'm going to use the drop down menu and change the color. And then I'm going to click OK. And then you can resize it to, oops. You can resize it to make it whatever size uh, fits your layout, and then you can also move it uh, wherever you want to move it. So that's what I do for each vMix UTC setup. And then this label bar here, I make sure that I name it uh, the same name that I'm going to save it in. So this one here says One Man Stream uh, Rescue Tutorial. So what I did to recreate uh, the mistake that I had made before, uh, before I started this tutorial today, I went and I purposely um, saved the football uh, vMix UTC uh, setup that I had on previous, that I just showed you before I brought this one up. I saved it to this one man stream rescue tutorial. So let's go to the one man stream rescue tutorial file. I'm gonna right click on it and what I thought I could do is I could just go up here to restore previous version and I thought that would be the uh, ticket to, to get me where I wanted to go. So I clicked on that and you can see what it brings up. It says there are no previous versions available. So at this point I was uh, really sweating bullets. So um, I wasn't going to give up so I came up here, I clicked on it one more time and if you go a little bit further up this list you see one that says version history. So I clicked on that, and when I did, it brought up this box right here. And if you look, uh, historically, the very first time that I saved this, uh, it was 910.4 kilobytes, and then I did a little adjustment to it, and it was 911.2 kilobytes. 
And this is where I overrode it uh, with the uh, football setup. So what I did is I came to this one right here and you click these three dots over here and you can either download it or you can restore it. So what I did is I clicked restore and when I did that, it restored it back um, to, the set, to the original state that it was right here. And so that is my current version is this one right here. So that's how easy it was. Uh, just to recap, all I did was right click on it. I go up here to version history And then you go to the three dots. You find the one, uh, the last one that you had that was correct. And you go over to the right where the three dots are, and then you click on restore. And uh, that was uh, a lifesaver for me. And it's something I just wanted to share with you guys in case you unfortunately uh, write over uh, one of your VMIX uh, UTC setups. Now you have a way uh, to go back and, uh, and restore that. Uh, so that's really all I wanted to cover today. It's quick and simple. Uh, very easy, and uh, hopefully you find it straightforward. Make sure you do give us a thumbs up and a like, and uh, please subscribe so that you'll be alerted uh, when new videos are posted. Also, make sure that you stop by our website, www.onemanstream.com. Uh, we have a lot of information uh, on the website. We have all the videos uh, that we have on YouTube, but we also have information, and we also have some cool stuff. We have some photos from, from some of the venues uh, that we've done. I've also started to put the uh, VMIX GT title designer graphics that we've created, along with the assets that you need in order to use them. I have those on the website, and I'm also going to start putting the VMIX UTC setups on the website so you guys can download those as well. Even if you don't want to use the exact same uh, setup that I have, one thing it will allow you to do is you can download it and then you can kind of go in and reverse engineer it and open up and look behind the scenes and see the, bu uh, the buttons and the commands that I've chosen. And uh, it'll give you some idea of the commands that you can use and the sequence that you have to put those commands in to pull off some of the things that you want to do. The next tutorial we're going to do is actually a subscriber request. I had someone drop me a line and you guys are always welcome to do that uh, with questions or comments. Uh, one of our subscribers by the name of uh, Pastor Emanuel uh, sent me a uh, email and he also uh, put a comment uh, on one of the videos and he said, could I possibly go over a, a VMIX UTC uh, setup for replay? And that's what I'm gonna do in our next video uh, tutorial. It's probably gonna take more than one episode. I really like to keep these tutorials less than 15 minutes. Uh, but this is what we're gonna use uh, right here. Uh, this is actually the exact same setup that I use on my X keys uh, that uh, TJ Thompson was nice enough to uh, share in one of the forums. Uh, so what I did is I took all that information and I just put it in a vMix UTC tutorial. And you can see there's a lot of functionality to this. Uh, you can change the speeds of the replay. You can change the direction. Uh, you can move your clips to uh, different preset channels. So I'm gonna show you how I use it and how to create it and the commands that I use for each one of these buttons. So that's gonna be our very next uh, one-man stream tutorial. So you wanna make sure you come back for that. Uh, it's going to be packed with a lot of information. I think you're going to find it uh, very informative. Uh, so as always, thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon.